Try and speak hey, Spanish. Hey. Oh, hey, yo. No, <laughs> no. <Yes. laughs> We're in California. I feel like we should know a little bit of Spanish. <laughs> Don't stop the music, Brian. We're still going. No, I'm stopping it. Whew. I don't bring it back. <laughs> no, stop it. Oh, I gotta get my microphone back in. Happy Cinco de Mayo for all you folks that are celebrating. I just like to celebrate everything personally, so. I celebrate Wednesday. Cause it's Whiskey Wimp Wednesday. I'm Brian. I'm Matt. We're the Whiskey Wimps. But today. We're not doing whiskey. We're doing tequila. <laughs> Cause it's Cinco de Mayo, so why not? Yeah. Uh, entiendo mucho, pero hablo. Poquito? Que? Tal. Como? Mr. Roboto? Como oyo va? Well, Brian. That looks very, very clear. This that is, looks like that never touched a barrel. Ever. This, it wasn't in a barrel. It was in a tequila. It was in tequila? It was in tequila. All right, here's what I know about tequila. It's made out of agave. It's made from the juice of agave. It's made from agave nectar. Agave nectar that has been ground and pressed and put into a... They ground the agave nectar? They press it. They, they put through these machines that just like... So that they get the nectar the, out. Exactly. Okay. They don't, the they don't take the, the nectar and then press the nectar. No. Okay. Just making sure I know what I'm talking but this about. This is the Blanco version. Because it's clear. Clear. Look, look, but look. Blanco means white. It's pretty white. I mean, if you hold it up against you, it is. If you hold it up against me, it's kind of hey, marron. Hey, hey. <laughs> look, look, chingon. Like, look at these. Look at that tan color. I'm almost as color as you. What? Woo. Yeah. yeah, but I'm but I'm a lot of Caucasian. I'm nothing like it. <laughs> Chinga tu madre. Sorry, mom. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, that's the first thing I learned in Spanish. I, I'm so, I, I blame society. You don't want to know know what I learned in Spanish. Yes, I do. Tell me. No tengo pantalones. Chupa. Chupa mis gringos. Por favor. Oh, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not touching that stuff. I don't know why you're taking the label off that. I'm not drinking that stuff. I can tell you that right now. You know what happened last time I drank tequila? What? Yeah. I don't know. I'll smell it. If you had an añejo, you might have a higher chance of me participating. This is least, good stuff. At least touch of, whew, Smells like cactus juice. <laughs> <laughs> Get that stuff out of here, dude. Just, I, do you drink it. Look at that. Perfect. Here, what we're really gonna drink today on Cinco Sorry, Day, Michelle, day Party. Sorry, Michelle, No, 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 it's, I'm sure it's good for tequila. But a tequila gets me in big trouble, and I'm not going to big trouble land. We're going to whiskey land, where water of life, light whiskey. We're gonna keep it light, we're gonna keep it fresh. Tequila. <laughs> this. <laughs> okay, we don't wanna get demonetized. Oh, oh yeah. wait, we're not even monetized. <laughs> <laughs> this light whiskey, this obtainium, from Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Ooh, this Mexico. is this is bottle 23 of 176 bottles. So this is a single barrel. Why is it 14 all fizzy? years aged because it's thick. That's how viscous this stuff is. It's, it's the viscosity. That's why there's those tiny little blue. You know, I got tiny little bubbles that roll in this one too. Yeah, you do. You do. I'll give you that. There's some tiny bubbles. They're not as fine as these bubbles. But Maybe still, we should still. have a tequila versus whiskey showdown. We're doing that right now. Down. We're doing that right now. There, we did have music today, so you, you're accurate with your hoedown this time. 147.6 proof. 
Oh, that was high pitched. Sound comparison. <laughs> Light whiskey, bro. <laughs> Northern glasses. I felt like these were appropriate for Cinco de party. A first pour of Cinco de party. The highest proof. So the last time I drank anything this even close. No, I don't think I even had ever had Bacardi 151. That wasn't at least not straight. I watched a buddy do it once. Do mm -hmm. it. In high school. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> just, he did it. Just straight. Like took well, a shot of 151. Mm -hmm. and he puked instantly. I mean, it was high school, but. Oh, there's a, there's a little bit of ethanol, which I would expect 100% from a freshly opened bottle of 147.6 proof whiskey. That's flammable. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it looks like. There's a flame. There's a flammable warning on there. Where's your torch lighter? I was just thinking about my <laughs> torch lighter. I was. I was like, it's not in my pocket. I was just thinking that. Because we are having. Ooh, hey. What do you What do you think about this? There's definitely the, li the little bit of light ethanol. I mean, it smells like a proofy mm -hmm. whiskey. I'm getting the agave. <laughs> God damn it. I'm not gonna push you because I don't want to smell any of that. <laughs> Getting some, getting some agave. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was just trying to smell it a little deeper. I accidentally poured some on my lip, but without, you know, you know what happened. Mm -hmm. This is really good tequila. Dude, can you stop saying that? You pour, I poured this in, the, I, you, you haven't, if you want to pour it back in the glass and pour yourself some tequila, have at it. No, I'm... But what you just tasted was light whiskey. Which is not light. Dude, I, I, I I'll tell you right now. I do appreciate the humor in a 147.6 proof bottle of whiskey being called light. But at the same time, that was a very easy sip. There was no... No, there wasn't any burn. There was no burn? You, you... I didn't get any burn. How do you do it, Obtanium? What's going on over there in Lawrenceburg, Indiana? I've been to Indiana a couple times. I'm gonna have to come back and see what it is you guys are doing over there. Maybe we can do our own barrel proof of light whiskey from the Whiskey Limbs. Our own barrel proof? Our own barrel pick, sorry. Mm. I mean, this is a single barrel right here. That would be, I'd be happy to do one in Indiana. I mean, I was imagining it would be Kentucky to be the first time. If you're we'll watching, be. we can do it. This is fantastic. I like this. If you see this, if you know where to find some obtainium for yourself, light whiskey, don't be scared of the 147.6 proof. Brian, where did you find this bottle? How much did you pay for it? So I found this bottle right here in downtown Atascadero at the liquor store. A huge sign on El Camino Real that says liquor. You can't miss it if you're headed northbound. <laughs> If you're headed southbound, sign made Get off safe. on Kerberil. <laughs> Get off on Kerberil. Head northbound on El Camino Real. Be on the right-hand side. Huge vertical sign that says liquor. They've got more of it. And it was $70. And if you want to, you can cut it down. You can literally get twice the amount of alcohol out of this if you water it down. Almost literally twice the amount. And it'll taste better. It'll treat you better because everything is better with whiskey. And friends.